So there we go. Display on. Uh, you got the time in the top left. Haven't set that yet. Temperature from wherever it's reading from, which we set later, and 12.6 battery. Um, that's it. So if I push again, we now get the heating mode. So to start the heater, you just push it again. That's temperature mode. So this is uh, as it was by temperature uh, in the previous model. Uh, so this will control to a temperature. Um, it will turn the, so if you set say 22 degrees, um, this will back itself off about four degrees before. Uh, so but when it gets to 18 degrees, it will start ramping down the power of the heater from power level 10 uh, down to, uh, you know, whatever it needs to try and maintain that temperature. So if it's really cold outside, you may find that it will never reach 22 degrees. It will settle out at about 20. If you want 22 in there, just set it a little bit warmer so set another couple of degrees and it will make the whole vehicle another two degrees warmer uh, people get confused by this and think that it should actually reach the actual set temperature um, and they kind of do but they only do if the heat load is very low uh, so in warmer weather um, so what you need to do in colder weather is add another couple of degrees to it and then it will reach the temperature that you feel most comfortable at basically the rule is if you feel too cold, turn it up a little bit. That's all there is to it. So that will do it. In that mode, it will not stop the burner at all. Uh, it will always run. It will just ramp down to the minimum power and it will run at that speed once it's up there. If you open a door and it gets cold again, it will ramp the power back up again and maintain that temperature. So in the ideal world, if your heater's sized correctly, this mode is the best mode to use. It'll never stop the heater. Uh, it just runs uh, and it keeps it at a nice comfortable temperature, assuming that the load is correct. Uh, so if you don't want that mode, so if for instance, in the out of season time, uh, you know, uh, not cold season, mid medium season, people complain that that gets too hot in that mode. Uh, you've got the power mode, which is the standard power mode like we had previously, where you can just set a fixed mode with no control whatsoever. But then you've got heat and ventilation. Um, this one is like the uh, same mode that we had before, uh, but it also has ventilation. So basically, depending on the settings that you set uh, in the hysteresis a bit later, um, that ventilation mode will come on. So basically it'll stop the burner, it will ramp the fan right down to the minimum speed, uh, and it will sit there at very low circulation until the temperature drops again uh, to the value set in the hysteresis, and then it will restart again. Um, so basically if you the way it was with the old ones it was about five degrees from the highest temperature uh, where it would stop the burner and then another five degrees until it came back on again which is quite a wide band and it could be uh, that it gets cold uh, in between so the problem with that of course is if you do it narrow and you do one degree differential you'll find that the heater is stopping and starting all the time and that uses a lot of battery so it's always going to be a compromise um, and every heater does the same. Uh, every diesel heater works in the same way, so they all have this same issue. But what's new on this one, which is quite a new and clever idea, is this thermostat mode. So what happens in this one is that instead of it running 100% power, this runs about 80% power. Um, and what it will do is keep warming uh, until it reaches the set temperature uh, plus the high value in the hysteresis that we're going to set in a little while um, and it will then stop the heater completely do a cool down sequence but it will stop uh, there'll be no fan circulating and then it will wait until the lower value so the way this one is set up as, as standard out of the boxes with three degrees differential so you've got plus one degree on the set point. So if you set it at 22, it will go to 21 degrees uh, and then it will stop the heater burner completely and the fan. And then 
it will wait till you're two degrees below 20, so 18 degrees, and then it will switch it back on again. Um, so I think a lot of people are gonna like that mode. That's that one there. So you just set that to whatever temperature you want by pressing it again. Um, so, yeah, so hang on. Heating, uh, let's try in temperature mode first of all. You set the temperature that you want. You then set the running time that you want, uh, five hours, and you can set that really long or really short. Um, so if you only want it on for half an hour, you can set that and uh, it will run for half an hour. No problem whatsoever. You see, it's also got red LEDs that show, show on there to tell you it's heating. Um, if there's a problem, those will flash. Um, and if it's uh, reached temperature, it, it does. I can't remember exactly what it does, but it does something different. Um, anyway, so there you go. That is now running. It tells you how long it's going to run for. 29 minutes in this case. It shows you the battery voltage and the temperature that it's reading. If you want to turn it off, um, sorry, you just just turn the knob and you'll get off. I'll turn it off now because I don't want to run it. But there we go. So the other thing is you can actually alter these things while it's running, which is a nice thing. Um, so you go into settings, set the time and date in here press again that saves it Display settings, so you got language, let's see, unit, um, so there's various languages. Depending on where you are, you get a different language pack. So if there isn't a language that you uh, want in there, there are a massive range of uh, them available, but this is the uh, sort of the Northern European, if you like, version of it with only a few. Units, metric, imperial units, so you can do Fahrenheit if you want. Stick to metric and brightness, self explanatory. You turn that up and down. As you see, the LEDs go brighter or dimmer. Then you've got the heater. So here you select which temperature it's going to be using. So by heater, I tend to use uh, which is the return air into the heater. As you can see, I'm holding the control on this, so it's saying 25 degrees uh, on the panel, but the actual air temperature going into the heater is only 12 degrees. So uh, that can be useful to use. I tend to find it's a lot more stable on that temperature, uh, but you know, some people use this and that's fine also. Then you have advanced settings. So now you've got your voltage shut down. If you enable that, you then get a voltage, so it goes from 10 volts uh, up to 28 volts. So you can set whichever one you want to do. Uh, and then there's a duration for that as well. So three minutes is the maximum, uh, sorry, six, nine minutes is the maximum. Uh, and one minute is the minimum, three minutes is the default. So if it sees that voltage for three minutes, it will stop and it will show you then a fault with uh, well not fault actually it'll just say uh, voltage standby low voltage standby mode so uh, that's quite a handy little thing that people have been asking about thermostat this is the hysteresis so again if you set a set point of 22 degrees and you've got a maximum hysteresis of one degree it will go one degree over 20 degrees uh, and it will then either stop the burner or be ramped down to the minimum. Um, so in in the uh, temperature mode, it will 
uh, ramp down to the very minimum power at that point uh, and just try to maintain the uh, temperature. Sorry, I'll let it go. Um, and then the other one. This one here is basically the point that it comes on at. Uh, so I set that to two degrees. So at 18 degrees, it will come on, but you can vary that to whatever you like. As I say, it is a compromise. If you set one degree there and one degree there, you are going to see that it will use a lot more battery power because it stops and starts all the time. Uh, when the weather's really not particularly cold anyway and if you've got a lot of insulation if uh, you've got an empty van with a big area and perhaps a slightly undersized heater it may never stop uh, so it all depends on the installation and what it's installed in what the van or vehicle or boat or whatever how well it's insulated it's going to affect that uh, so then you've got this information. It gives you all the data from the heater, which is handy as well, but it also gives you a serial number and firmware version of the control panel itself as well. So uh, that's useful. Then the LEDs. Uh, so that's the red and blue, uh, green LEDs that you see on the display. You can turn them off uh, because that red can be annoying at night. So you can turn that off as well. You can reset to factory settings by pushing that and it will just go back to default. Um, and then the next one that people are always interested in is the timers. We now have three timers. They can be set completely independently um, and they can run consecutively. They can run, if you set it to every day, it will run every day until you tell it not to run every day. Uh, so I think people will use this. So it could be very handy if you know exactly what time you go to work on a morning and you know what time you come home. You can get into a warm vehicle every time. Uh, so here we go. So if we enable that timer, we'll adjust it. So if we say it's an early start, we're going to start at 7 o'clock in the morning. Because say we go at 8, eight to work. Uh, I want it to run for an hour. every day or I can do working days or I can select particular days so Monday Tuesday say I have a day off on a Wednesday a Thursday Friday and I might go to work on Saturday instead I don't know people work different shifts so you can choose whatever you like um, it does mean you can set it for different times at the weekend if you know you're going away um, you can do whatever you like with it it's all possible. Uh, so we'll set that. Which mode do we want it to come on in? Heating? Yeah, definitely. Sorry, let me just go back into that. I can do heating and ventilation. Ventilation only. So it's heating. Uh, so heating will just run. So it will stay running. And then you've got heating and ventilation, so it will go into that recirculation mode. Obviously, the noise isn't an issue when you're on your own. And if you wanted it to just recirculate air, you can also do that as well. I'll set it to heating. But I'm going to disable it because I don't want it to run. So like I say, yeah, oh, I'll tell you what. No, I will enable it because I'll show you what it does then. Um... We'll set another one as well. Enable. Adjust. So that's taken that timer as well. So now if we go out, you'll see it tells you exactly which one is set for what. So uh, 7 o'clock every day or 1 o'clock every day. Um, and it will do all those. So you know that you've set it and you can set three of them which I think is very useful. Um, so that's that. Um, if you want to start the heater, as you see when it's got a green flash when it's just in standby. If you want to start the heater? Okay, let's start the heater. Ventilation, 
you can just have it in ventilation mode or you've got the settings and timers and that's it really um you select which mode you want it there thermostat mode this time so it will start and run I say set that time to whatever you want um I think the default is about five hours, but you can set it to whatever you like. Um, and there you go. It tells you which mode it's in at the top left there. Um, it's not gonna start right now because I've got it warmer than 21 degrees. So let's say I wanna change it. I just push the button and I can turn it up. 29, and there you go. Gives me the option to change the temperature at any point by just pushing the button. Now it'll stop again. And if I want to turn it off, I just turn it to the left uh, or right, doesn't matter which, and it will go into off. And then you can also access the settings while it's running. So uh, that's very handy. So there you go. Uh, that's a run through. Um, any questions, just ask. That's it. Uh, oh, no, one more thing, one more thing. The uh, settings, you got the, did I show that? The sleep mode, yeah, here we go, screensaver. Uh, so if you put the screensaver on and do a timeout, we'll set that to 20 seconds, it will come out with this screen. So we're back to the standard screen. And because it's still on in heating, uh, it'll show you that. It says it's still got five hours to run. Uh, if it were to cool down uh, below 21 degrees, it will kick on. Uh, there you go. So that's telling you now. That's the uh, screensaver mode. Um, tells you the temperature. It tells you it's heating. It's got the current time and the date and day on there. Um, that's it, really. All done.